Israel's economic competitiveness is anchored in strong protection of property rights and relatively low levels of corruption, both of which have been cornerstones of long-term economic dynamism. There is still room for improvement in the management of public finance. Despite the challenging global economic environment, openness to global commerce supports productivity growth. The large influx of well-trained and Western-educated European and North American immigrants contributed greatly to a rapid rise in Israel's gross national product after 1948. Although most of them had to change occupations, a nucleus of highly skilled labor, in combination with the country's rapid founding of universities and research institutes, facilitated economic expansion. The country obtained large amounts of capital, which included gifts from Jews around the world, grants and aid from the U.S. government, and capital brought in by immigrants. Israel has supplemented these forms of revenue with loans, commercial credits, and foreign investment. Over the years, Israel has experienced a high average rate of growth. Given its small consumer market domestically, Israel has strategically turned beyond its borders to sell its products and offer its technologies. Anchored in a culture of entrepreneurship and adaptability, Israel is globally recognized as the world's startup nation for its cross-sector contributions to modern research and technology. However, the horrific events of October 7, 2023 shifted Israel's focus from innovation to self-defense. The absence of thousands of workers from their jobs due to the ongoing war with the Hamas terror group has been costing the Israeli economy an estimated NIS 2.3 billion, 600 million US dollars a week or about 6% of the weekly GDP, according to a research report released by the Bank of Israel on December 2023. Israel's war may be a bump in its economy. Before that, we dive in to find how Israel's economy was going on before the war. Stable Labor Market The labor market in Israel is relatively stable and supports the economic upturn. Estimates show that the number of employed people rose to 4.1 million people in 2022, a slight increase compared to the previous year. In contrast, in 2020, there was a moderate decline in the number of employed people probably due to restrictions imposed by the government on many sectors. Following the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak, in addition, since 2016, the unemployment rate in Israel has remained stable at around 5%. High tech and manufacturing at the forefront. High tech and manufacturing have been Israel's most important economic industries in recent years. In 2020, the export value of manufactured industrial products amounted to 44.8 billion US dollars making them the most exported commodities from Israel. In addition, in 2021, nearly 386,000 people worked in the Israeli high-tech sector. They were employed in diverse industries, mainly computer programming and consultancy. The innovative approach of Israel has contributed to the success of this sector. Moreover, it has also encouraged the establishment of tech startups, which mainly operate in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Importance of International Trade Foreign trade plays an essential role in the economic growth of Israel. The most important trade partner for both imports and exports is the European Union EU, which signed a free trade agreement with Israel in 2004. In 2021, exports from Israel to the EU reached a value of nearly 13.34 billion US dollars. In addition, Israel has strong trade ties with the United States. From the United States, Israel imports a variety of goods that are essential for the prosperity of crucial industries in Israel, such as electronics. In 2021, imports from the United States accumulated a value of 7.9 billion US dollars. Imports consist mainly of raw materials, including rough diamonds, capital goods and food. Exports more than doubled in value through the 1990s and became highly diversified, originating in all the major manufacturing sectors in agriculture. High technology products led the list of exports, and Israel sells fruit, including citrus, vegetables, and flowers throughout Europe during the off-season. Its biggest trade partners are the US and China. Israel's GDP, 564 billion US dollars. GDP per capita, 58,273 US dollars. Nominal, 2023. Estimated GDP growth rate, 6.47%. Resources. Mineral resources. Mineral resources include potash, bromine, and magnesium, the last two deriving from the waters of the Dead Sea. Copper ore is located in the Arava, phosphates, and small amounts of gypsum in the Negev, and some marble in Galilee. 
Israel began limited petroleum exploitation in the 1950s, and small oil deposits have been found in the northern Negev and south of Tel Aviv. The country also has reserves of natural gas in the northern Negev, northeast of Beersheba, and offshore the Mediterranean. Power The power industry is nationalized, and electricity is generated principally from coal and oil, burning thermal stations. The government has encouraged intensive rural electrification and has provided electricity for agriculture and industry at favorable rates. The Israel Atomic Energy Commission was established in 1952 and has undertaken a comprehensive survey of the country's natural resources and trained scientific and technical personnel. A small atomic reactor for nuclear research was constructed with American assistance south of Tel Aviv. A second reactor, built in the Negev with French help, is used for military weapons research. Industry of Israel For more than 40 years, local demand fueled Israeli industrial expansion as the country's population grew rapidly and the standard of living rose. More recently, world demand for Israeli advanced technologies, software, electronics, and other sophisticated equipment has stimulated industrial growth. Israel's high status in new technologies is the result of its emphasis on higher education and research and development. The government also assists industrial growth by providing low-rate loans from its development budget. The main limitations experienced by industry are the scarcity of domestic raw materials and sources of energy and the restricted size of the local market. Mining and quarrying. The country's mining industry supplies local demands for fertilizers, detergents and drugs, and also produces some exports. A plant in Haifa produces potassium nitrate and phosphoric acid for both local consumption and export. Products of the oil refineries at Haifa include polyethylene and carbon black which are used by the local tire and plastic industries. The electrochemical industry also produces food chemicals and a variety of other commodities. Oil pipelines run from the port of Eilat to the Mediterranean. Israel has some producing oil wells but continues to import most of its petroleum. Israel's International Trade Export value of goods – 73.59 billion US dollars Import value of goods – 107.27 billion US dollars Manufacturing? Industrial growth has been especially rapid since 1990 in high-technology, science-based industries such as electronics, advanced computer and communication systems, software, and weapons, and these have come to command the largest share of overall manufacturing output. Other principal products include chemicals, plastics, metals, food and medical and industrial equipment. Israel's diamond cutting and polishing industry, centered in Tel Aviv, is the largest in the world and is a significant source of foreign exchange. The great majority of industries are privately owned, one exception being the government-run Israel Aircraft Industries Limited, a defense and civil aerospace manufacturer. Factories producing military supplies and equipment have expanded considerably since the 1967 war, a circumstance that stimulated the development of the electronics industry. Agriculture, Forestry, and Fishing Early Israeli society was strongly committed to expanding and intensifying agriculture. As a result, a rural Jewish agrarian sector emerged that included two unique forms of farming communities, the kibbutz and the mashal. Although the rural sector makes up less than one-tenth of the total Jewish population, such a large rural populace represents something almost unknown in the diaspora. The main problem facing agriculture is the scarcity of water. Water is diverted through pipelines from the Jordan and Yarkin rivers and from Lake Tiberias to arid areas in the south. Because almost all the country's current water resources have been fully exploited, further agricultural development involves increasing yields from land already irrigated, obtaining more water by cloud seeding, reducing the amount of evaporation, desalinizing seawater, and expanding desert farming in the Negev by drawing on brackish water found underground. Israel has perfected drip irrigation methods that conserve water and optimize fertilizer use. When we exploit Israel's fisheries, only a limited quantity of fish is available off Israel's Mediterranean and Red Sea coasts, and Israeli trawlers sail to the rich fishing grounds in the Indian Ocean and engage in deep-sea fishing in the Atlantic Ocean. Inland, fish pond production meets much of the domestic demand. When it comes to Israel's employment, districts with the highest number of employed residents Central District, Tel Aviv District. The youth unemployment rate is 6.03%. Finance. Israel's central bank, the Bank of Israel, issues currency and acts as the government's sole fiscal and banking agent. Its major function is to regulate the money supply and short-term banking. 
The Israeli currency was devalued numerous times after 1948, and the new Israeli shekel, NIS, was introduced in September 1985 to replace the earlier Israeli shekel. The government and central bank introduced this measure as part of a successful economic stabilization policy that helped control a rate of inflation that had grown steadily between the 1950s and mid-1980s and had skyrocketed in the 1970s. Also, the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange was established in 1953. Israel's Inflation and Prices Inflation Rate – 4.39% Monthly CPI – 102.8% Israel's government finances, national debt, 271.3 billion US dollars. Government expenditure on education, 99.2 billion ILAs. Israel has commercial, deposit, banks, cooperative credit institutions, mortgage and investment credit banks, and other financial institutions that are supervised by the central bank. The banking system shows a high degree of specialization. Commercial banks are privately owned and generally are restricted to short-term business. Medium and long-term transactions, however, are handled by development banks, jointly owned by private interests in the government, which cater to the investment needs of different sectors of the economy. Having moved away from the socialist economic model in the mid-1980s and early 1990s, Israel has made dramatic moves toward the free market capitalist paradigm. As of 2020, Israel's economic freedom score is 74.0 making its economy the 26th freest in the 2020 Index of Economic Freedom. Israel ranks 35th on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index. Israel's economic competitiveness is helped by strong protection of property rights, relatively low corruption levels, and high openness to global trade and investment. Income and corporate tax rates remain relatively high. As of 2020, Israel ranks 35th out of 179 countries in Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index. Bribery and other forms of corruption are illegal in Israel, which has been a signatory to the OECD Bribery Convention since 2008. Uncertain political systems in Israel's war against terror are taking a big economic toll on Israel's economy. So we have to wait and see what the future holds for the future of Israel. Can Israel's economy bounce back or this war is bad news for Israel? So what do you think? How did we do? If we missed something, please say in the comments. And if you like our video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.